Hi there, this video will show you how to add certificates to your personal account on Azov. Such certificates may include child safeguarding, first aid, continuous professional development, coaching certificates and officiating certificates. So to get started, just log in to your personal profile on Azov and once you log in, you'll be greeted by this screen and you will see that there are five different tabs in this section here and for this video we will look at the credentials tab and the qualifications tab so we'll start with the qualifications tab so once you click that the screen will appear so in qualifications this is where you add your coaching certificates and officiating certificates and to add all you simply do is click add qualification and this box will appear and when it does, it will ask for qualification name. If you click the magnet, magnifying glass, and from here, you have your three different options. So coaching level zero, officiating level one, and the level zero coaching online refresher. So in this example, we'll just click the coaching level zero. Just hit the green tick to select. Uh, qualification category will then automatically appear and then you just enter the start date so you can add from as many years ago as you wish and um, if it's expired probably best not to upload it but uh, for example this specific cert uh, certificate is valid for three years so if you did it in 2018 then it's still valid to 2021 uh, and at time of recording this which is July 2020 it's still valid so therefore you would still upload it and uh, so just put in the start date which is when you completed the course so 24th of November 2018 as an example and then finally you simply just upload the PDF certificate select upload and then select choose file and this will open the file explorer to your PC um, and from there then you go and find wherever you have stored your certificate and select it and then once you have selected it you will see it will appear uh, on this line here and when you're ready just click upload it will take a few seconds to upload and you'll see here in the attachment area it will appear and from there then all you do is simply click submit for review Again, that will take another couple of seconds just to process and then you'll see here that your coaching level zero qualification has appeared uh, as waiting approval so at this stage then an azov admin will come in and verify your certificate and once verified that will then change to approved and that's all you have to do so for them to add uh, child safeguarding, first aid, CPD certificates, etc., uh, you would add them in credentials, and it's the same sort of process. So click Add Credentials, and this time you'll be asked to select from a drop-down box the type of credential. Uh, so to start, we'll go with a first aid certificate. Click Next. Enter the name of the provider. Um, so whoever was the facilitator of the course, you would enter that there. Uh, the start date, um, just for this example, I'm just going to select today. Um, and it will, typically the first aid courses are three years uh, of valid length. Um, so it will default to three years, but you can select a different date if it is different. And then click next and again the same process uh, click upload and then choose file and once the file has loaded there you just click upload and then click finish and then similar to when you uploaded a qualification it will also be pending approval again for the admin to go in and uh, just validate it and mark it then as approved. Um, we will continue on then by adding a child safeguarding certificate. This time, 
And so that would be the Safe Guardian and Protecting Children Workshop. Click Next. Uh, type in the name of the course. Uh, source, so whether it was online or a face-to-face -face course. Again, enter the provider. Start date, for example, I'm going to just put today. Um, and this one defaults to, to one year, so you could just change the year uh, to whenever it's, it's valid to. Click next, and then again, just upload the attaching certificate. And then just click finish. And then again, it just needs approved by the admin, so it will be in as pending approval. And at that stage, that's, that's all you need to do for that. Um, it may take a week or two for the admin to approve it, uh, but once it's there, that's the main thing. So don't be worrying too much after that. Uh, I just want to show you then other types of credentials that you can put up. So there's the protection of vulnerable groups, a disclosure and barring service check, uh, as well as continuous professional development certificates. So the most relevant recent one would have been UK Coaching's uh, course on mental health awareness for sport. So you could upload that there, uh, as well as then your access NI vetting certificate. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you find this useful.